Yeah, um, obviously you play for you know you play for home ice all year, so this is big. Um, I just say you take it as a you know a normal day. We had a good practice today. Stutzy kept it short um, for good reason. We had a lot of hockey coming up, and and uh, you know most guys will get workouts in here and stretch and you know just probably go home and most importantly get some rest and eat some good food. So. Tough games in game one and two in terms of the physical series, a mental grind out type of series. But to get the offense going, you're part of that top line with Backman and Mersh. What are you guys looking to do in terms of your internal communication to, to see more opportunities? Yeah, I just think we got to get more pucks in the net. Um, you know, maybe simplify our game a little bit. I know we, all three of us, like to make plays on the rush, and you know, we're not huge fans of dumping the puck. Um, obviously, I like to play a possession game, but I think it's important to uh, establish the forecheck early. You got to get pucks on net, and you got to stop in front, and hopefully, good things will happen. So. Faceoffs have been playing a crucial role in this series as well in terms of where they're located, times of the game, and it seems like you're the go-to guy now with Andrew Crescenzi and Ryan Horvat a little banged up here. For you, I mean, is that, is that a game that you've been trying to increase your, I guess, presence in and, and, and improve upon here in these few days of practice? Yeah, I mean, it's something that you work on all season, um, obviously, so when you get to this point, it's second nature and, you know, it's not something that you're that you're rushing to figure out. But they have a lot of good, uh, you know, they're strong down the middle, a lot of good centermen, so... Um, you know, I think we match up pretty well, but with those two a little banged up, it's going to be a little bit more challenging, and you know, guys will be counted on a little bit more. So tomorrow, if you include the regular season, it's your 15th meeting against these guys. So ultimately, not a whole lot of surprises. Mentally, how are you getting yourself prepared to see those same faces across the way? Yeah, I just think um, just take it as any other game. Obviously, it's it's an important one for our season, but you know the. You asked Stutzy, I don't think it's any more, any less important than the other 14 we've played against them. So um, I think guys will be ready. And what was the message in that locker room? You mentioned it was a short practice today, but it seems like everybody's pretty pretty quiet, pretty focused, not a whole lot of uh, hoot and holler. It seems like uh, it's, a, it's a pretty serious environment. Yeah, I mean, I, I think every guy um, prepares differently, and I think at this at this level, it, 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 you know, it's it's taken upon the individual to uh, prepare for the game. There's not a whole lot that, that Stutzy can do at this point as opposed to, to video and, and um, you know, some, some structural stuff that, that we can figure out. But other than that, from a mental standpoint, you know, you, you just gotta be ready. So. And in your eyes, I mean, what's gonna be the difference factor? You've seen the best of both worlds in game at one and game two, both close games, one goal contest. What's gonna separate you from them? Well, I think we just gotta bear down on our chances and I think special teams is gonna be huge. Uh, our power play's gotta be better, so.